Right now, programming quantum computers feels like you're writing code for a mainframe in the 1960s. You write your code, you search out an entity that has a computer with a compatible compiler, you send your code to them, then you wait and you wait and you wait for minutes or hours or days, and eventually you get a readout back of the result. The whole process is like you're stepping into a time machine, and not in a good way. So unsurprisingly, quantum software engineers are desperate for other options, and this desperation creates an incentive for bad actors to take advantage of the situation. What happens when bad actors decide to fill that void and start offering quantum computers with malicious intent? That's the topic of the article we're diving into today on Journal Club. If you're already subscribed to our email newsletter, then you'll be getting the full episode in text and audio form delivered to your inbox in the next few hours. Journal Club, the latest academic research explained in plain English.